Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Now, let's talk about factoring special products. Okay, so ito, titinan nyo lang yung pattern kapag meron kayong polynomial na given na special product siya. Okay, okay so dito kapag meron kang sinasubtract na dalawang perfect squares or dalawang squares, ang magiging factors mo would be, first, what you're gonna do is take the square root of the first term and the square root of the second term. Okay, then add mo sila times difference nila. Okay, so take note dito guys na positive kasi a squared minus the negative 1 kasi negative b squared. Okay, careful lang dot. Now, let's work on some examples. x squared minus 9. Okay? Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 9 is 3. So, ang factors natin dito would be x plus 3 times x minus 3. 16x raised to 4 minus 81. Okay, so huwag ma-intimidate kung may coefficient. Ibig sabihin lang nun, since perfect square din naman itong 16, makakuha pa rin natin yung square root ng buong term na to. Ang square root nito would be 4x squared and then ang square root naman ng 81 is 9. So ang factors natin dito would be 4x squared plus 9 times 4x squared minus 9. But take note guys na ito ay difference of 2 squares ulit. Okay? So, here anong square root ng 4x squared? That's 2x. Ito naman ang square root niya is 3. Okay? So, i-factor out din natin yan. 4x squared plus 9 times 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. Negative x squared plus y squared Okay, here you have two options. Either, i-take out mo ang negative 1, so you will have negative. Tapos magiging opposite lahat ng sign. x squared minus y squared. Or, just rearrange these two. You will have y squared minus x squared. Okay? Pareho lang yan na makakuha ka ng tamang sagot. When it comes sa ganito, I would suggest you, eto na lang. Right? Kasi parang mas madali. Kasi kita mo na agad. Kesa naisipin mo pang may negative ka sa labas, baka makalimutan mo pa. Okay? So here, square root of y squared, that's y. Square root of x squared is simply x. So ang answer natin dito is y plus x times y minus x. Okay? Kapag ito naman yung gamitin nyo, ang makuha nyo sagot would be negative x plus y negative uh, x minus y. Don't forget may negative dito sa start. Okay? Pareho lang yan. Okay. Last example. Negative 36x squared plus 25. Okay? So, kunwari ayaw kang i-rearrange kasi gusto ko mauning x squared. I will take out negative. Ito magiging 36x squared. Itong positive 25 magiging negative 25. Now, we have a difference of 2 squares. Square root ng 36x squared is 6x square root of 25 is 5. So this is equal to negative, don't forget that, 6x plus 5 times 6x minus 5. Pero you can still do yung ginawa natin dito sa taas. Alright, so ito ang mas madaling intindihin kapag meron tayong examples. Okay, so paano ba natin ma-identify kapag ang isang trinomial natin is a perfect square? Okay, so una mong iti-check is yung first and last term. Dapat pareho silang perfect square. Okay? And then, saka mo i-check if yung middle term niya is nagmamatch. Okay, what do I mean by nagmamatch? Ang square root ng a squared times square root ng b squared times 2, yun dapat yung value ng middle term niya dito. Okay? nag lang yung sign. I mean, yun yung magiging sign ng B mo sa product. Or sa factors niya. So now, let's look at examples. Okay, we have 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. Okay? Again, anong form natin? a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. a plus b. Or simply, a plus b squared. Okay? Meron ka lang dyan square. Kasi pareho lang naman tong dalawa. For example, if you have this one, 
Ano ba ang square root ng 4x squared? 2x. How about 25? 5. Okay? If you multiply 2 times this one, 2x, times ang square root ng isa, 5, equal ba to sa 20x? Yes, kasi 2 times 2, that's 4 times 5, that's 20. Times x, 20x. So, if this um, expression is a perfect square trinomial. So, pwede natin i-apply yung concept ng product niya na ganito lang. Ang product niya would be 2x plus, kasi positive naman to, 5 squared. Okay? Either yan yung nakasulat sa choices or 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5 x squared minus 10x plus 25. Squared nito is just x, squared nito is 5. Now, let's check yung middle term. 2 times x times 5. This is equal to 10x. So, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, we can apply yung ganitong pattern. x plus or minus 5. Minus, kasi negative yung middle term mo. Minus 5 squared. So again, equal lang din to sa x minus 5, x minus 5. Negative 16x squared minus 8x minus 1. Okay, so guys, negative yung x squared term mo. Okay, so same sa ginagawa natin when we are factoring trinomials with ax squared plus bx plus c. Kapag negative yung a, ano nga sabi ko? I-take out yung negative. Alright, so yun yung gagawin natin dito para magkaroon tayo na positive na x squared. So, negative, babalik tadlat lahat ng sign nila, negative 16x squared, magiging positive 16x squared, negative 8x, magiging positive 8x, negative 1, magiging positive 1. Now, let's check if this is a perfect square trinomial. 16x squared, square root is 4x. 1, 1 lang rin. So, we have 2 times 4x times 1, is this equal to 8x? Yes. So, itong nasa loob na to is a perfect square trinomial. So, this is equal to, don't forget the negative, 4x plus, kasi positive naman itong middle term, 1 squared. Or simply, negative 4x plus 1 times 4x plus 1. Okay guys, again, paulit-ulit ako nito last time, if you're gonna distribute this one sa isang factor lang, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-distribute sa dalawa. Kasi ibig sabihin nun, para kami dalawang negative 1. Okay, so if we distribute this one, another possible answer would be negative 4x minus 1 times 4x plus 1. Okay? Okay, last example. We have negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. Okay, so since negative, ilabas natin yan. Negative. So opposite ng signs nila lahat. x squared minus 4x plus 4. So, is this a perfect square trinomial? Let's check. Square root of x squared, that's x squared of 4, that's 2. So, if you have 2 times x times 2, is that equal to 4x? Yes. So, this is a perfect square trinomial. x plus or minus? Minus, kasi negative yung nandito. Minus 2. Oops, sorry. Okay, tanyo ako nakalimot. So, don't forget the negative. Minus squared. Okay, as usual, katulad sa kanina, pwede mo siya i-rearrange such that you have, dito na lang pala, negative x minus 2 times x minus 2 or negative x plus 2 times x minus 2. Pwede mo itong i-rearrange para mas proper 2 minus x times x minus 2. Okay? So, lahat ng to pwede possible na nasa choices. So, dapat, dapat talaga na master niyo yung concept ng um, operations on integers. What do I mean by that? As in, yung mga simple negative 1 plus 4, negative 2 times negative 2, etc. Okay? Kung ano talaga yung concept niya. Dapat naintindihan niya talaga to. Okay? This is very, very important. And so is factoring in general. It's very important pagdating sa higher math. Okay? So now we have sum and difference of two cubes. Okay? So, the thing about cubes is kahit anong sign Basta meron kang dalawang cubes, automatically ma-apply mo tong concept na to. Okay? So, bakit ganun? Kasi, so unlike sa difference of two squares, then you have to be very careful with your signs. Kasi nga, kapag meron kang um, square ng negative number, this is equal to the imaginary number i. 
k or the number i. Uh, just don't mind if hindi nyo pa to alam. Anyway, um, pagdating kasi sa mga cube root, o kaya cube of a number, let's say, what's the cube of negative 3? The cube of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, right? Negative 3 times negative 3, this is equal to 9. 9 times negative 3, this is equal to negative 27. So as you can see, pwede na negative yung sagot. Okay? In the same way, um, ang cube root, let's say, of negative 27, hindi to undefined da or hindi to i, this is equal to negative 3. Okay? From the previous one. So, pagdating sa sum and difference of two cubes, as long as nakakita ka ng something cube plus or minus something cube, kahit mapanegative pa yung nandito or positive, okay? mag apply yung concept mo ng sum and difference of two cubes. Kasi yung negative uh, counterparts ng perfect cubes are also perfect cubes. So for example, ano mga perfect cube natin? We have 8. Okay, ano mga perfect cube natin? 8. Ang cube root niya is 3, right? Okay? Ang negative counterpart nito, which is negative 8, is also a perfect cube. Kasi negative 3 cube is equal to negative 8. Okay? So for example... So, for example, meron tayong negative a cubed minus b cubed. Okay? May dalawa kang options dito. Okay? You can either treat this as negative a cubed plus negative b cubed. Okay? So, meron kang sum of two cubes. Anong cube root nito? Negative a. Ang cube root naman ito is negative b. Or, what you can also do is take out yung negative sign. So, you have negative and then opposite ng signs nito. A cubed plus B cubed. So, now you have a negative and sum ng two cubes. Pwede din to. Another is to treat negative A cubed as a perfect cube minus B cubed. So, dito meron kang difference of two cubes. Nakuha niyo ba? Here, ang cube root mo would be negative A. Ito ang cube root mo would just be B. So, as long as consistent ka sa signs, pagdating dun sa A plus B times A minus A squared minus AB plus B squared or A minus B times A squared plus AB plus B squared. Okay, as long as consistent ka sa signs, kahit paano mo iintindihin, etong given na to, you should arrive with the same answer. Okay? Basta pag meron ka nito, ang magiging sagot mo is my form na since plus yan, negative from this one times a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay? So, ganun din pagdating dito. Just as long as consistent ka, ito, different siya. So, ito yung gagamitin mo. Right? So, that's equal to, ang A mo dito is negative. So, you have negative A minus yung B mo is just B times A squared. So, that's still A squared plus negative A times B plus B squared. Okay, if you um, simplify this, actually, equal lang to silang dalawa. Okay? So, ano suggestion ko kapag may ganito ka? Katulad ng suggestion ko when it comes to ax squared plus bx plus c, kapag may negative ka na a, um, I suggest na ilabas mo yung a, yung negative na yon. Then, opposite lang nung sign nito. Negative a cubed plus b cubed. So, again, um, may iba-ibang ways ka para i-treat to. You can treat it as negative a cubed plus b cubed. So, may sum ka. You can treat this as b cube minus a cube ni rearrange lang to okay so ang suggestion ko is to do this alright so nagets niyo ba um, if pareho silang negative take out yung negative you'll have a cube plus b cube kapag ganito naman negative a cube plus b cube i-rearrange mo na lang siya b cube minus a cube
Okay? But it's really up to you, but just take note, dapat na intindihan nyo talaga yung concept ng positive and negative integers. Alright? Now, let's answer some examples. Negative 125 x cubed plus y cubed. Okay, gaya na sinabi ko, since negative itong nauna and positive naman itong isa, what we can do is to rearrange it. y cubed minus 125 x cubed. Okay? So, now we have a difference of 2 cubes. Okay, ano ang cube ng y cubed? It's y, cube root, sorry. Ano ang cube root ng 125? It's 5. Ano ang cube root ng x cubed? That's x. Okay? Okay, so take note that this is negative. So, ano yung expect natin na sagot? We have negative, positive, positive. Okay, y minus 5x times square of this, y squared, plus the product 5xy plus square of this, or 25x squared. Okay? Ito yung final answer natin. Okay, last example. I think marami naman to sa worksheets nyo. A. Okay. Here, wala naman problema. We have a sum of 2 cubes. So, what is the cube root of 729? It's 9. So, that's why I said familiarize yourself. Hindi naman kailangan ni memorize na 9 times 9 times 9 729. Yung tipong pag nakita nyo lang to, may idea kayo. So, ito, x lang, 8, 2 ang kanyang cube root. So here, our answer is going to be positive, negative, positive. Okay, so here we have 9x plus 2 um, square of this, that's 81x squared, minus, product nilang dalawa, 18x plus square nito, which is 4. Okay, the final answer natin. Um, next topic natin would be rational expressions na nangangailangan ng factoring. Okay, so guys, kailangan niyo yung factoring when you move on to rational expressions. So, I hope you will answer our worksheet on this. Okay?